Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So today, I'm doing something a little different. You should probably tell by the title. I attempted first, of course, to uh, to look through Tumblr. I was doing going to do a, a reaction to Tumblr, but unfortunately, there wasn't anything really all that crazy to react to. And then I found this. Then I found this. So I'm going to read you, ladies and gentlemen, a fanfic written by a very strange individual called Stormbringer. There are multiple of these. I'm just going to read one of them. I might read another one some other time. This one is called The Wizard, from Martha's point of view. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's ruin our own lives. Oh, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I've always had a major crush on Waglington, but I can never be with him since I was already with Steve. But since Steve sacrificed himself, I am lonely. I don't know anyone in this new dimension we're traveling to, and since Waglington is actually Steve's alternate, it's not bad if I do happen to be with him. As we exit the void that we left the world in, I spawned into the new world with everyone and myself. Did, did, did we make it? It looks like a old world, Wag exclaimed. Martha, would you like to go build a new place? I can help. Especially with... Depth. <laughs> when he says depth, everyone started to chuckle. Guys, stop making fun of me, he cries jokingly. I'd love that, Wag. I need to, yeah, I need to do a Martha voice now. Then let's go. As we leave, I hear Cindy say to the others, I bet ten diamonds that Martha asks for something before Wag my Tom. We get to a clear plot of land, and we build a new house that very closely resembles my house from the old world. Thank you so much, Wag! I shouted and hug him. Uh, oh, uh, you're, you're, you're welcome. He, he loosely wrapped his arms around me. D sorry, it, it, it was actually nice. R really? Yeah, it was. I look into his eyes under his hood, and I see an emotion I don't normally see in him. Joy. It was very nice to see. It reminds me of Steve. I do miss Steve badly after his sacrifice to save Uncle Dianite. Though, I have made a better connection with Waglington ever since I found out he's Steve's alternative. Hey, Wag! Y yes, Martha? Will you do something for me? W what is it? W will you? W will I what? Will you pleasure me? Waglington's point of view. M Ma Martha? W what? You heard me, Wag. Will you please? I literally was in shock. I couldn't move for a while. But, but, but what about what about Steve? I, I know he's dead, but would he want this? I, I don't know, would he? Why why do you ask me how would I? I remember at that point that Steve was my alternative reality twin. Oh, I'm Steve. So, would Steve be okay with this? I think he would, Martha. I think he would, yeah, that's what they all, that's what they would all say. Then let's start! Uh, okay, I say in shock as she takes her clothes off. Do you like what you see? Maybe. I take it all in. She's perfect. Her body is amazing, and her long, light purple hair is draped over the top right side of her body and down her back. You're nervous, aren't you? N no. What, what, what makes you say that? Maybe it's the fact you're shaking a bit. She walks closer to me. Or maybe because you seem to be hiding something. She looks down at my crotch. Or possibly it's because you aren't undressed yet. She walks right up to me. We are face to face. She leans in and just lightly pecks my lips. That seemed to just put me over the edge. I put my arms around her and kiss her passionately. Oh my! Wag! Sorry, I, I pull away regret regretfully. Don't be. That was amazing. It was? Yes, very. She kisses me again and takes my cloak off. And then she starts taking my shirt off. You're sure about this, Martha? Oh, shut up already. She throws my shirt against the wall and takes my pants off. She's not hanging around. She's not hanging around whatsoever. I'm left in just my boxes. She moves away, lays on the bed, and pats it, signaling me to be with her. You're beautiful, Martha. Thank 
you, Waglington. Shall we, m'lady? Yes, we shall, sir. I get out of my boxes. <laughs> That's that line. I get out of my boxes. Oh, so you were hiding something. I guess you could say that. Well, I'd be happy if I could play with your secret. <laughs> that can be arranged. She spreads out on the bed and I get above her. As I do, she takes her legs and wraps them around my waist. Ready? Oh no, sorry, that's me. Ready? Just do it! Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I thought that was... Oh. Oh my. <clears throat> I penetrate her. She screams when I do. I, <laughs> I thrust in and out slowly at first, but I soon pick up the pace. <laughs> what is this? Oh god, you feel great. That's me. You're so <laughs> You're so big, Wag. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we we keep we keep going for ten more minutes, and I can't take it anymore. I'm I'm about to come. Please come in me. Okay, I will for you. I I finish, and my load fills up. That was amazing. I say out of breath. It definitely, it definitely was. I pull out and lay there next to her. She sits up and moves closer to my... My stick. She licks it a bit and puts it in her mouth. I, I can't even read the next. I, I just. Well. We'll just skip that bit. Martha, you're amazing! I look up at her. She comes up to my face. She lightly kisses me. You are too. Let's get some sleep. Okay, Martha. I love you. I love you too, Wag. I don't know why I did this. That was horrible! I can't even read some of that. Oh my god. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. In the corner somewhere. Alone. Goodbye ladies and gentlemen.